Why do these things keep happening to us? This is the second time, dude, I'm pissed. As of about 30 minutes ago, we were supposed to be touching down in State College, Pennsylvania to be picked up by our wonderful driver from Woodward to take us to Woodward East, and instead, we're in New Jersey. It's two, dude, it's two. It's 1.42 right now. I guess for us, that's what, 10.42? Because we're still on California time. We got stuck. We got stranded again. I don't know if you guys remember the Woodward East video last time I went. We missed our connecting flight and we got stuck in Chicago last time. And luckily, we were able to book another flight that same night that we made it on. So we still made it that night. This time, our flight from LAX to New York got delayed. And we had a connecting flight from New York to State College, which is where Woodward is in Pennsylvania. So because, this time it wasn't our fault. That's what I'm getting at. It was not our fault this time. Because our flight to New York was delayed, by the time we landed, our other plane was was gone. But luckily, because it wasn't our fault, we got, like, they booked, the airline booked us another flight for tomorrow. We actually landed in Newark, which is New Jersey, but it was like, five miles from, 10 miles from New York. I've never been to New York. It's been a bucket list of mine for a while. So I was like, we're gonna make the best of a bad situation and spend like 14 hours in New York. Except it's 2 a.m. See you guys tomorrow for day one of Woodward, day half one of Woodward, and then day half one of New York. Our flight's at 3.30 tomorrow. That counts. <laughs> Backside foot. Backside foot? You can never get those first try. I know. And then it always it, it ends up being like this crazy battle every single time. Yeah, last time we came here <laughs> over the picnic table, do a backside foot. Oh, okay. A broken board later and three hours later. No, it's not happening again. I'll do it right here. You know what, Gabe? Maybe I don't want a backside foot, okay? Maybe I'd rather do a blizzard foot. Do a backside flip when you have a view like this. Whoa. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, not too bad. Way nicer to look at than a backside flip. Picture, 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 pic
to Papa. Come back to Papa. You want to play game of skate? Not really. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we play skate. All right, bet, yeah. bro. Tomorrow, you shake tomorrow, on it. Tomorrow, Yo. if I don't play skate, you owe me anything I want from the skate shop. Okay. Five right, so ask today. Ask today. Because you. follow me, fair. you need a and if we win, you follow me. You ask for nothing over $10 though. Yeah, nothing over. We don't want to shake. Shake. Where will you be? Where you be? So we don't. Oh, three ways. Where we meet? Where we meet? What time? You have to find me. It's like a scavenger hunt. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. No, 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 no. It's a scavenger. You have to find me. No, nah, it doesn't work. See? We agree on that. We go tomorrow, all three together, and Shut we beat you. Shut the fuck up, stupid. Alright, alright, alright. You're going to be here tomorrow, though. No, like, yes. From, from, from what time to what time? Uh, yeah. I don't have a car. I'm here forever. I mean, oh, okay. We're going to come to you. We're going to come to you. <laughs> knock on your door. Hey, hey, hey. I subscribe to you. Oh, he too. I me too. I watch all oh, your videos. Bro, I'm sorry. I have not subscribed. Hold up. Oh my god. You have it. Oh shit. Oh Get it to the fuck. You have it. You found the sick photo. I love you. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> oh. Every morning, it's a ritual. Wherever we stay at Woodward, whether it's East, West, Tahoe, whatever, we always have stairs like leading from where we're staying at. And every morning and every night, we have to jump down them to test our body soreness. Because by like by day seven, like the end of the week, you jump down and your legs are like. <laughs> And you like crumple at the ground, so it's like it's training, weight training. No, it's not that. Oh man, <laughs> you found me. We found you. Why well, we playing the game? Of well, we're playing games. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to uh, town hall. Yeah, we're, we're oh, the center that's of town hall. So busy. You're gonna get swarmed by a million people. Well, well, million people. You don't want to go. You played skates <laughs> with us. All right, let's play skate right here. Right here. Right here. Let, me, let me go there. Hey, let me give me a play. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we had a, a deal that if they found me today, we're gonna do a four versus one game of skate. <laughs> so it's me versus who am I playing against? One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, your team needs a representative for Rochambeau. I think I will be the representative. Okay, Perfect. so remember, Rochambeau. It's on the third oh, one. Don't oh, fuck oh. this up. Yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I cracked them knuckles. Rochambeau. Rochambeau. Ro oh! No! The way this game works, I don't quite know how I got talked into this. If they win, I have to buy each of them something from the the canteen, which is like the skate shop place. And if I win, if I win, what do I get? Hey, Nothing. You, we're gonna we're gonna start out easy. We each get to try once. Yeah, we get. And one if one try. of us landed, we all land. Yeah. The way this works is when I said a trick, each member of their team has a chance to try to land it. If only one of them has to land it for it to count. It's their turn to set the trick now. So how, how does this work? Do you guys each get a try to set the trick? No, no, no. no only one person gets to set the trick. We switch every time. I got the I got the I want to see that front foot come off. S to S, tie game. Back up. Okay. Oh, you no, want no. to stay? He oh, can stay. Yeah. I don't know, my guy. Uh, what What do we do? Um, go. You got those first drivers. Hey, 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 get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Derek Jenner. Derek Jenner. Hey, Derek Jenner. Hey, Derek Jenner. Hey, we do not. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Garrett, I'm sorry. Who do you want to win? Raise your hand if you want Team Italy to win. Yeah! 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 Raise your hand if you want win. Team Garrett Jenner to win.
That was not rap at all. If we were at the barracks, that would be redo, bro. <laughs> That's a rebate. That's a rebate. That's a rebate. That's a rebate. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> no rebate. TDK. Okay. Wait, are we playing barracks rules? No. Anything goes. I got you. One more try! God damn it, Igor! It's okay! Game. Very good game. We did not have like 10 tries each, but we will meet again. Good game. game. So, are you biased? Let's get up. Yeah, let's go. To be honest, I still don't know for sure how they talked me into this, but I thought it could still be fun to uh, go to the skate shop and buy them some things. You know, they're funny. They were entertaining. So we walked into the skate shop. It started getting super hectic because a bunch of other kids followed us in there. And the, the people working the skate shop started getting mad at me. So I tried to expedite the process. And originally it was a $10 limit per kid. And then I decided that I was going to get them all wheels. I don't, again, they, they, they brainwashed me or something. But, um, yeah, we got them all some wheels, and then and then we left, and now that's the end of this voiceover section. Okay, back to the video. That's one way to start off Woodward Day 1. It just, like, it, I thought it was hectic outside, and then we went into the skate shop. I started, I felt so bad, because the guy working, like, everyone was asking him stuff, and I was like, dude, let's just get what they want, leave. But that was fun, those kids are, those kids are hilarious. Since last time we were here, because I, I don't know if you guys remember the video, but when we were here last year, there was a park that was under construction that was going to be finished the week after we left, but because we left, we didn't get to see it, obviously. That park's finally done this year. Never seen it, never checked it out, never skated it. So I figured that's a great place to start off for Woodward East this year. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you almost die on that? I don't know. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna warm up with a couple of easy tricks and almost get bodied on a 50-50. Something about, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> This is a lot bigger of a park than I thought. Because when we were here, it was just like the middle part of it. I didn't know it was like they have a whole pump track around the entire thing. And it's big. Like it's a very, very large park. But the thing that caught my eye most, this, right? It's not very often that you can find a kink rail that you can't sack it on. And I know for a fact I just jinxed it and I already know I'm gonna sack it on this. But, because like in the real world, kink rails are gnarly. You have like, you know. Oh. But this one actually looks mellow and like legitimately skatable. I am gonna take the weenie way out and start just getting the bottom of it and then work my way up. But I'd be high, like a goal for mine would be to board slide it. I've never in my entire life ever board slid a kink rail. I always just 50 50 it. This is the one to learn how to board slide. So start with the bottom, work our way up. Add like 20 feet and a couple kinks, it's the same thing as that. Front board would be my dream kink rail trick, but I think we're gonna save that for another day. One dream trick at a time, backboard. I give it like a 50-50 chance I land it today. I don't know, I don't wanna go in too confident. 5,000 likes, I'll front board it. We've run into the problem now that the only next thing to do is actually try the kink. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll try 50-50 first, because that's what I'm more comfortable with. But... What's scary about kink rails? Is it like the first kink or the second kink or is it just the length or what's what's what scares you about it oh, fuck. it's a moth or something or a bee i don't know <laughs> i think it's the first kink 
Because once you get past the first kink, it's just flat, you're chilling. But, but like, even this down kink doesn't, It's that's fine. Yeah, it's just that, sure. the one that goes like... It's because you have to go, if you mess up when you pop on, you get bodied on the flat part. Uh, you know what I mean? Versus yeah. once, you, once you're on, you're fine. I hope I don't sack it. I, I said I wasn't going to sack it, and I'm going to sack it. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit since I've skated the kink trail. I'm a little bit rusty. It really has been a while since I've skated a king trail, even though this is like a mellow park rail. I forgot how much I like them. And I'm gonna go back on my words once I fall, then I'll say I hate them. But if you don't fall, 10 out of 10. Top tier skate obstacle. <laughs> okay, see it. You see, start squirreling. That's the scary part. Okay. That feels crazy. I should do it first try. Okay. Okay. I was anticipating the slip out, so I leaned too far forward. <laughs> oh, it sucks because it's the balance of speed. The faster you go, the easier it is, but the faster you go, the scarier it is. So it's like I'm trying to find the balance of just like going fast at it, but then if you do sack it, it's even worse. God. If that was any higher, I would have been done. You. You. Great success. Great success. I think that's what else I'm realizing. 50 50, once you're on, you're kind of on. The board slide, because you pop differently, it's like a different balance point in every single slide. So it's like, yeah, I board slid it earlier, but I probably couldn't do it again. It'd be the same battle all over again. There it is. Yeah. New challenge, we have to one up ourselves. 50 50 down, come around, 50 50 up. Pick flip front leg. <laughs> no. That looks good. Oh. We stopped filming for the YouTube video. Um, just kind of skated a bit, got some iPhone clips and had fun. But we skated, what did we skate today? We skated the pump track up there. We skated the pump track over there. And then we skated the pump track in the middle. Yeah. So my legs are pumped out. So we're heading to the pool and hot tub right now and Gabe does not understand my logic behind hot tubs. I had, to, I had to tell him that we were filming in the hot tub in order for him to come down to the hot tub. But like, we want to skate tonight and like catch a sesh with the homies, but there's no way I'm skating tonight unless I'm getting in the hot tub. The hot tubs just don't do anything. What do you mean? They just don't do anything. No, you, you sit in a hot tub for like an hour, you are just, you're, it's a fresh start. No, absolutely. No, Gabe doesn't believe in hot tubs. Sitting in warm water and then you feel the same exact. <laughs> no, they, they fix everything. What I will say though is that the hot tub is the farthest away thing <laughs> from where we're staying. So we have we have like what probably a three quarter mile walk. That's how big Woodward East is, yeah. dude. West is sick because Woodward West is all you can walk anywhere and everywhere. East is like oh you want to go take a hot tub, but <laughs> you're walking for 20 minutes to get there. So we're going from way over there to way. Over there, into Off the though, wilderness. Too. We gotta walk up a big old hill first. This is unacceptable. Stupid, stupid. stupid. <laughs> no, no. A 20 minute walk just for it to be closed. We have the pool though. Are you going to the pool? No. You can't complain though, look at this view. You're just mad because you gotta be playing Apex Legends. I wanna go This is a stupid idea. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Lock. Who would have thought subscribe is such a long word? All right, you can set the camera down and let you know when I'm done. Is it good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go in the hot tub, man. The pool's cold. Okay, hear me out. I wanted to go in the pool earlier because it was like 95 degrees. And Gabe's like, dude, why do you want to go in a pool? Like, the pool doesn't sound nice right now. So I was like, okay, we'll just wait till the nighttime so it's cold so you go in the hot tub. Because if it's hot, you go in cold. If it's cold, you go in hot. Now that it's cold, we go to the hot and the hot's closed. And now we can only go in the cold, but you don't want to go in the cold when it's cold. 
Bro, your tan is so gnarly. <laughs> your arm to Oh, well, my farmer's tan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude. Wow. That's, crazy. <laughs> that's pretty Look crazy. Whoa. I look like two separate people. Dang, I've been working out though. Oh, you like that? Mm. Imagine like anyone watching us. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of windows where people are staying right there. I'm trying to get as much content as I can because I walked all the way over here and we can't go in the hot tub, so I'm really milking the content out here. But should we go walk back to the room now? <laughs> <laughs>